Okay, so Eminem, he about to shock the world. He dropped the Slim Shady LP. Debuts number two on the charts, four-time platinum. M is a major rap star. Looking back on this thing, did you know, like, could you say, my man, he just needed to get on. I know he was going to go all the way. Or for y'all, was y'all just as shocked as everybody else? This kid come out of Detroit, white rapper, and spit like nobody ever heard. Like, what was it like sitting in your seat? Man, it was it was surreal, man. It was surreal, man. Um, it just caught me off guard, man. Like I said, I was doing security in in Dallas. You know what I'm saying, like. I knew I knew he had one battle to go to because uh, you know I had hooked him up with Wendy Day, you know we mm -hmm. had met Wendy Day at another event in Detroit. Met her and uh, Marshall gave her, her t his tape, and then she hit him back and was like, you know, she wanted to help him out any way she could, so she put him in the Rap Olympics, which she uh, he he battled in, in uh, L.A. and after the Rap Olympics, uh, I guess they asked all the rappers to go up to Sway, Sway and Tech. And then um, I think Dre heard him on the, on the radio freestyling or uh, Dre got his tape some kind of way. But yeah, so basically, you know, that's what happened with that. OK, so I got to ask, because I watched a lot of artists go from struggling to not it out of here. Right. What it, for you? What was the biggest change in your life when all of this started to pop off? Was it the girls? Was it the access? Was it I'm on TV now? Like just looking back over your career, what was that that thing that stand out to you that you like, damn, like almost overnight I went from here to here? Right. Oh man. Man, it was I mean, everything was a blur, man, because it was like you know, M was already popping, you know what I'm saying? Then we started popping. So, I mean, I don't know, man. I really can't even answer that. <laughs> All right, done deal. It's a lot. <laughs> okay, so you made a comment earlier. You said, look, we made a promise to one another. Whoever blew up first, we was going to come back and bring everybody in with us. Right. It, M blows up. He keeps his promise. He signed D12 to Shady Aftermath. Y'all put out your LP album and y'all go number one. Number one, out the gate. For you, it was number <laughs> one. <laughs> album titled Devil's Night. What, 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 what's the backstory to that title? Oh, man. <laughs> Devil's Night is a uh, um, like a like a holiday bef the day before Halloween. It's called Devil's Night, and it's basically when uh, the teenagers go terrorize the city. You know, like throw eggs at people's houses and let let fire cans on on fire, burn garages down. Is you know, so that was a big thing back in the day. Devil's Night. Got you. So it was a real you, thing, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> As anybody in Detroit about Devil's Night, they'll tell you. <laughs> okay, so you do realize y'all sold four million records on that on, on that Devil's Night album. Damn, was that many records? It was, it was a lot, hell of a lot of records. <laughs> yeah, man. Four million. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's talk about let's talk about something else that you oh, no, gotta that was remember. For real, man, we sold four million the first album. I think four million the second. So eight. Oh million. no, y'all sell a hell of a lot of records. Yeah, for sure. 